Well, hello everybody. <laughs> You're here at Elevated Living with Z, and I'm obviously Z. Well, I hope it's obvious. <laughs> and um, if you're new here i like to tell you welcome and if you're a returning guest i'd like to just thank you for showing up and just being a part of my life and family here at elevated living with z we are about all things that elevate your life and life experience no matter what that is channeling sessions like this one's going to be today type of thing um or anything in between healing reiki chit chats teachings um whatever it is that helps elevate your moment, your life, your life experience. So, today, like I said, it's going to be one of those um, channeling sessions where I just use all of the celestial bodies, which you guys can't see them because it's super cloudy, um, but they're there because I took the sky map to show you guys what they are and what bodies I'm bathing in. So when I get messages and channeled, notes we know where they're from so i'm going to be going in and i'm going to be catching the energy sucking it all in and um quickly balancing the chakras going through the whole body um and pulling anything that doesn't belong or that didn't feel good or didn't feel right i'm going to be grounding us completely to mother earth energy and also um it's not called grounding. I don't know what you call it, but connecting us to the celestial bodies. So we're in a constant flow, give and take flow, you know, and, um, and in the meantime, I'm going to be hearing for any messages that come through or any energies that are necessary for moments like this for us. So you guys, if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button, we are growing. It's amazing. The energy that I'm getting, the feedback, the conversations, you guys are amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm way, I was happy when it was just one, two, five, seven, but we're like almost like at 500. We're doing good. Thank you guys so much for sharing the videos, for talking with each other. I'm talking with me, you know, and just growing the community. It's lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to go into my channel state. I set it up in a different little place where hopefully you'll see more light because last time it was super dark and I couldn't fix it. And um, so I'm going to go into a little channel state and you guys will see me there. And then when I get done, I will click back on if there was something of substance to speak of. And I'll let you guys know. All right. So I think that's it. It's all housekeeping, the chit chat, the BS. All the good stuff. I hope you all you all are doing and feeling fabulous. And um just thank you for being you. I don't know what else to say. Alright. I'll see you guys in my channel state.
Hi, you guys. I hope you guys can hear me loud and clear. I'm sorry I'm a little winded. These always get me um, coming in and out from wherever I am to here. Sometimes not the easiest transition. Okay. So I get in there and it is like the link up was so clear and I had everything coming in at once. It was very hard to, to decipher for almost a second. I was like, what am I doing? So, okay. The very first thing we need, like just, is that go with the flow. It's very important right now to go with the flow. Do not try to understand, change, or get anything that's going on. Go with the flow. It is more important to guard your thinking and thought processes than anything else. Going with the flow will help that your thinking doesn't go in one way or the other. So you can create what is best for your reality and start to see that into play for your own life. Period. Second thing, I'm trying to ask for healing. No need for that. If you are open to receive the information, the downloads, the upgrades, the new energy coming, you no longer need to ask for healing. Healing occurs naturally for you and to you. Um, that will be the new norm for us uh, awoke people and even for humanity. It's more of an understanding that we are receiving a download and we are receiving information and that information and that download allows us healing in our body naturally. Yes. Okay. So back to focus, back to focus, back to focus. Um, um, so guard your, we talked about guarding your thoughts. Healing is going to occur naturally. Um, oh yeah. Um, trying to understand anything that's going on is going to be irrelevant right now. So stop thinking, you know, and just start accepting what is. And living in the now is more divine than anything. Living who you are in the now as you are. And that said, right after it said it's perfectly okay. Not it, but the energies coming in, the words, the, the source coming in was saying. It's okay to become something, learn who you are, and completely change the next day. And want to be and learn something new and become somebody else. It's part of what we came here to do. Is adapt, change, expand, explore. And we're so stuck. All of us. All of us in this. It must be that we don't allow the changes to happen naturally. Or just, just the magic of being alive to just be. Um, was there anything else that they said? You know, we talked about self-healing. We talked about letting it flow, guarding our thoughts, not trying to figure out what it is, you know, being okay with changing our mind. Yeah, and that's it. So we got our balance, our chakras balanced. We know that our bodies are self-soothing and self-healing. We know that we're entering a new era. And I did for you guys a complete grounding, super deep, Grounding into the center core of earth, binding us to all that energy. And I pulled it all the way up to every celestial body that I put in the pictures at the beginning. And um, that should really create a space of healing in our everyday living for now. And you should make a habit of doing this yourself. I wish you guys could have seen what happened on the other side. Like this beautiful little white. Could have been a moth. Might have not been a moth. Might have been a light. And it looks so pretty and it distracted me. I'm sorry, guys. But um, I'm just really grateful that we had this experience. I feel very elevated. I feel very ready for what's next in our lives. I feel like we are going to be able as human beings to lift ourselves and each other up and really be in the vibration that we deserve to be in because unhappiness is not a state of being. You know, um, joy is, is such sustainable, it really is. And um, stress isn't, that's why it kills us and it creates fats and cancers and diseases. You know, there's nobody's ever died of overjoy. You know what I mean? That's why like, it's a sustainable um, 
emotion or state of being that you might want to try to create in your life. And that's not coming from them. The challenge is coming from my heart to yours, you guys. Anyway, I love y'all. Here's all my hugs and kisses. Stay safe, warm, healthy, and abundant until I see you the next time. You guys are absolutely my love and light. I couldn't live without you. Thank you for being you. Mwah. Gross, but good. <laughs> all right, namaste, guys. Thanks.